There is an indefinable, mysterious power that pervades everything. That power that can make a way out of nowhere. Today, the world, in the world, is so much suffering because of that one of prayer. Grateful to be with you guys this morning. Grateful to be able to come together and pray. And yeah, just... Take some time right now to be with ourself, to reconnect to our higher power, to reconnect to the intention, to what's the purpose, the intention behind our life, behind our day today. Just taking a moment, what is it that you are, maybe something you're struggling with, or maybe something you just want to see more of in your life. You're already grateful for it, but you want to see more. Maybe more patience, maybe more compassion, more love, more kindness, more thoughtfulness of others, more appreciation of others. Whatever that is that you're seeking, more clarity in your own mind and heart, stronger faith that everything that's unfolding in this world and our hearts and this life is happening for a reason. There's a purpose behind it. There's meaning behind it. And setting your intention. And as we pray today, my Lord, please help us to bring consciousness, our original consciousness, back into the equation of our life. Please help us to illuminate our lives, to illuminate our internal world and our external vision, how we see the world outside of ourselves. That this is a school of love that we're all here learning, we're all being trained. And sometimes we're seeing cries for love and sometimes we're seeing acts of love. And in our own lives, sometimes we are just crying out, crying out to feel that connection. And other times we are ready to, to give and receive it and, and gratitude, seeing that it's available for us in every moment of our life. Please help to illuminate our consciousness there's so many challenges we could look at in the world. And, and the greatest problem that we have is the part of ourselves that has a problem with everything. That until we address our own internal vision and the way that we see the world and the way that we engage with the world, until we address that, we'll continue creating problems in our life. Even if we have the most perfect scenario we'll still find something to complain about or something to be dissatisfied about because until we have returned home, until we have reconnected to ourself beyond the false ego, beyond the mind, beyond the body, until we've connected to ourselves spiritually and connected to you, then our journey is incomplete. And so let our consciousness be illuminated and let that journey be swift from illusion, from confusion, from darkness to light. Let that journey be swift moment to moment in our life as we feel stuck or maybe we feel confused or we feel the, the cloud or the fog covering our vision. Please help to illuminate our consciousness, to turn on that light within us. And that consciousness, when that light is illuminated within our own consciousness, within our own hearts, then the way we see the world it becomes magnificent becomes an opportunity, even, it's, even if it's challenging, it becomes an opportunity for service, an opportunity to make a difference, to express ourselves spiritually. And so I pray to you today, please help illuminate our consciousness. We call out your names each day for that purpose alone, the purpose of purifying our minds, our hearts, to be pure reflections of our true self, and to reconnect to you as you're non-different from your name. You come in so many different traditions with so many different names, making yourself available to us just with a song, just by simply calling out your name. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare.
Thank you, Vera. Thank you, Ben. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How was your How was your family outing yesterday? You went on a family outing yesterday. We did. Yeah, it was it was wonderful. We went into about a forty five minute drive. We, we went to uh, and. Uh, Vera was having a blast the whole way there, whole way back, and while we were there also, little baby Vera. And we went to Head Springs. We went to a beautiful springs, which is the the top of a um the top of a river called the Ichitakni River. And I had just yeah, just a little, little sweet day for sure. Nice. Mm -hmm. Got any plans for tomorrow? Uh, we, we have a Sunday as a, a family day, and, and I'm trying to think. We, we did say we we're going to do something. I can't remember what it was, but um, yeah. Tomorrow's your first Father's Day. Tomorrow's, yeah, that's right. It's my first Father's Day. I was just thinking about different fathers in my life. I was thinking about uh, last night and, and this morning to, um, to reach out to. Yeah. Mm. Radhana Swami, beautiful spiritual father, Arjuna. Incredible Godfather and spiritual father, my my birth father who passed to connect to him in spirit and uh, and remember him and the beautiful moments that we had together in our life. My stepfather, who's such an unbelievable gentleman and you know shining example of integrity and so many good qualities and passed so many of those good qualities on. And my brother, who's an amazing father, also so many friends. I mean, so many inspiring friends you know jai is such an inspiring father young father and uh diana's dad is also another exemplary man just so so gentle-hearted such a sage and uh so lives his life just always in absorption of how he can feed people and care for people and serve people and help heal heal people's um pain and wounds in their their life and uh so many i mean it's just can keep on going and going. So we have so many great friends in New York, young fathers, old fathers. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna wear my I'm gonna wear, wear my Father's Day, my Father's Day present. I'll wear it tomorrow for the podcast. Oh my gosh. Yeah, baby Vera got me uh, got me a gift. Your Popped Father's on. Day outfit. Well, he went he went shopping all by himself, and you know saving up for the first nine months of his life and wow you already spl got it splurged it all on his pop you got her you know what it is i did i got it earlier this week so i could you know just break it in a little bit okay wow we got us intrigued we're all gonna show up early tomorrow <laughs> me included i'm gonna show up on time too yeah it's nice so i'm glad I'm looking forward to it. happy early father's day thank you doyle appreciate it bro Barbara's saying that we need to see a picture of baby Vera. You got to bring pictures, man. All right. I can, we can work on that. Yeah. I could, I, I'll send you guys a video. I don't know if I could send it on the, the chat board here, but I could send you guys a little video that'll brighten your day. You can, you can put, you can put stuff on the, uh, on the, on the chat board. It's possible. Is, yeah. All right. I'm putting, I'm putting it on there guys. I'm loading a file. Oh, let's get, let's get that little jelly roll. That's good. For all you Facebook listeners, everybody, you're only this is Zoom. This is Zoom exclusive. <laughs> I don't know how to. Uh, I don't. Yeah, I'll, I'll figure it out in a sec. But I, I don't want to distract us too much. All right. Um, forward to yeah. We don't get a lot of photos. That little cutesy bootsy. Yeah. Okay. That cutesy bootsy. Mm -hmm. He's a cutie. That's He's loaded. Sure. He's loaded. Yeah. I gotta find it and then I'll I'll po I'll post it in there. Fit file, drop it in there, drop it like it's hot. Everyone's anticipating. Everyone's just staring into the screen. Drop everyone's it leaning like forward. I'm looking at everyone's faces. Everyone's leaning forward. All right. Let's see. Can I drag it and drop it in here? How does that work? Oh yeah. There you go. It's coming in. Incoming. There oh, you go. Oh. Awesome. oh, but it looks like I just sent it to you, Doyle. I, I it doesn't. I don't, I'm not sure how to. To change my my chat, it looks like it's everyone. I can't change it for some reason. It doesn't let me. Can't change it. Yeah, unless maybe they. Oh, they... I just changed it. Okay, cool. We can't watch a movie now. We need photos. 
No, it's a short one. It's a short one and it, it uh, will do so much more than a photo. All right, there you go. Okay, break time. Everyone watch this movie. Just a few seconds. A few seconds. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that little cutie pie. Oh, my gosh. Oh, cuties. Everyone, yeah. cutie, cutie, cutie. He needs to be our next guest on the podcast. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's... You know, I was thinking about it today. I was, Dan and I were on a morning walk, and when I was walking with him, I was just, you know, like I'll, I'll say it probably 50 times in a day where it's just like, like, wow, like, oh my God, I just love him so much. Or God, he's just, he's so precious. Or oh my God, like, like I, there's a feeling, there's this immense feeling of affection mm -hmm. within my heart. And it's like words are like, it's just like, don't even, it, it, you know, it's some like futile attempt to express the feeling that I'm having in my heart. It just comes in waves, just waves throughout the day, just waves and waves and waves and of, um, of how much joy this, this being brings to my life and brings to our lives every single day. And, and it's amazing just how, you know, uh, yeah, little humans, you know, just in a decent environment they're happy. <laughs> they're just, they're like, you know, it's like, oh, Sat Chidananda. It's not this like far-fetched thing of like, you know, it's like just, he's just ready to literally just laugh like that. Just, you just give him a little bit of an energy and just a little, a little playful with him. He's just ready to laugh and smile all day long. He smiles, you know, hundreds and hundreds of these huge gummy smiles and laughter and, and so, so much. Um, it's just so natural. And, uh, I mean, I can't, yeah, I mean, he's, he's like healing medicine, you know, since he's come into our life, you know, especially, you know, after the first few months, of, you know, first few months, they're just kind of like these little, these little cute little worms just kind of like squiggling around, you know, and then, you know, as, as a few months, you know, then, then there's more, they're interacting and they're more aware, they're more conscious, they're, there's, there's just a whole nother level of connection happening, different type of connection. and. It's, um, yeah, the, the amount of smile, the amount of laughter, the amount of joy, unbelievable. It's, un, it's truly unbelievable. And yeah, I can't imagine, can't imagine life without him. It's like he's always been there. Mm. I'm like, why well, didn't I have kids earlier? <laughs> That's what diana has been asking you. Yeah. yeah, she's like, all right, let's ready to have another one. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> she, 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 she's, she's ready for number two. Um, she's, she's definitely interested to have more than we're, we're, we're both interested to have more than, more than one child for sure. And at the same time, just you know, giving her body time to heal and giving you know, yeah. little baby, you know, let him have, let him have the, the boob for you know his full. Is his the, the full amount of time that he wants it, and uh, you know, give a little bit of space. I'm five years apart from my brother, and we were super close. Of course, I was the annoying little brother tagging along to everything that he did, and was very adamant about being a part of everything he did in his life. Which some, you know, most of the time he was really, really awesome and, and allowed me to participate. You know, sometimes he 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 wouldn't, but for the most 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 party did and we're five years apart i think that's probably once you start getting past that then you're not really growing up together you're kind of you know you're you're a little bit in in different phases so you know two or three years apart i think is is pretty good yeah my sister's three years older than me yeah you have a close relationship with your sister what's that what's it like with her i do actually yeah i mean growing up she'd always beat me up she was a dancer yeah, she's a dancer and so she had very strong legs so yeah. she, she would she would use them in retaliation against me <laughs> oh, she would no. always because i was always tagging along with her and hanging out with her friends she was like leave me alone yeah and uh and so um i grew up in a very kind of i grew up in a very matriarchal family so 
and my mom has three brothers and three sisters. The women are generally the, the head of the household. And, um, and uh, you know, my, my parents uh, divorced when I was very young, when I was three. So I was raised by my mom and my sister. So I always gravitated towards like female figures in my life. And then plus I had, I didn't have a brother at that time. I had a brother later in my life, but I was like always hanging around with my sister, my sister's friends. And she was like, go find your own guy friends. I was like, I just want to hang out with you and your friends. You know, I was always comfortable around, around, around women. They always felt like that the, they were the, they were the protectors. They were the providers. They were the nurturers. And so, uh, but my sister and I, we would fight and she'd beat me up and that, and that was always very loud and annoying. <laughs> so uh but uh but as we as we've aged in adulthood we get along really well and keep in touch and i have a brother he's 13 years younger than me oh wow yeah, yeah. it's a away. totally different planet right yeah 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 and then I, when he was five i moved into the ashram and became a monk and sort of ex you know uh cut off all communications with the family for a little while so i missed part of his grown-up years mm-hmm yeah, I mean, you're, you know, a few years older, you could be old enough to be his dad, right? You know, of course, it'd be a super young dad, but, but it's like a totally different, totally different planet, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. He's a good mm-hmm. guy, too. Mm-hmm. So that's that. But, yeah, grateful to, grateful to be with you guys this morning and just, you know, touching on the prayer a little bit. So we're, we're, we're having like a, we're having like a family. It's like a family Saturday. Every, we're like, you know, every, everyone else is just like, I'm like, what are these guys doing? Are they just chatting? <laughs> Doyle and I, you know, we hadn't, hadn't had an opportunity to catch up in a little while. I just thought we'd let you guys in on a, on a little uh, convo. Um, yeah. Just touch on the prayer this morning. I, I was, well, yeah, I was thinking about this morning, how, um, thoughtfulness and gratitude how how often how 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 often I feel it, but uh you know how how little I express it and you know like for instance, you know yesterday a, a friend of ours from England, um Gopinath and his wife Janaki you know close friends of ours and and um really you know s- just sweet people sent this really, really loving package in the mail. And I remember like, you know, maybe a month ago or so, Copinot asked for my address and I gave it to him and I didn't, I had no idea, you know, whatever, I just, he asked for my address, I gave it to him. And then, you know, we get this, this package and literally can feel like, it's just like, it's like a little like glowing love ball, bomb, you know? And, and you just, you could see the writing on the front. It's just so much intention is in it, you know, the little note on the back package with love and then opening it up and how it was wrapped and how everything was put together and the car, like it was just so much thoughtfulness behind it and could feel it and in, in the card that was written and the way the little gifts were wrapped and they got these little swim shirts for, for the boys, for Jayabai and, and for Vera. And Deanna and I were, you know, um, we're cleaning up the kitchen in the evening and, you know, we, we unwrapped the package and stuff and we're just, you know, reading the letter and just like, my God, like, like, wow. Like, you know, so inspiring like we want to be thought we want to be that thoughtful you know like we want to be more thoughtful in our life and and uh in, in that type of way and 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 so then you know it's just like okay like like what can we do immediately you know it's like so easy just to like oh let me just write a text back and you know say thank you you know and it's just like wow like really like that's the that's it you know like that's the reciprocation like that's the exchange of love it's so so base and so you know so easy and you know and doesn't really take any effort you know and uh you know and then then we were talking about another friend um this morning how inspired we were with how how they're parenting their children they have five kids they have four four girls and, and a boy and a baby boy open up his five kids no this is another another friend oh, okay I was like, Jeez, Louise. yeah no no <laughs> they don't have any kids you doesn't have any kids um but we were, you know, and, and we were just appreciated, like, man, like, what amazing parents they are. Like, we just, we were spending time with some of their daughters, because um, I was playing soccer with, with some friends, and Deanna was walking with these little girls, and they were just walking with her, and they're so well-behaved, they're so thoughtful, they're so intelligent, they're so, like, just these beautiful beings. And we were appreciating, and we're like, okay, like, does that, is that where it ends? Like, does the appreciation just stop with us? like right now talking about it and we're like no man let's shoot a video you know let's just shoot a video right now and just like 
just like serenade them with how much, how inspiring they are to us. And like, you know, okay, that's a step up from a text or, you know, whatever it is. It's like, it's, you know, it's a movement toward that. Like when we feel that gratitude, when we feel that thoughtfulness, like our ability, like we have the power to respond to it. The closer we are to the feeling that we're having, the closer we are to that stimulus that we respond to that gratitude, to that appreciation, it's effortless. It's really like effortless when it's like, oh, well, I feel so grateful. And like, oh yeah, it'd be, it'd be so nice to do something for them. And then it's like a day goes by and then three days and it's on your to-do and it's just gone. Like the, the feeling, the whole mood, the whole intention behind it kind of just disappears. But to be able to capture that right then, like, okay, what am I, like to turn it into like an action plan straight away. Like, yeah, I love my uncle. Yeah, I love my father. Yeah, I love my, and what do I love about him? I love this. And what do they love about? Like, oh, they love this food or they love this, you know, treat or this thing immediately when that energy is there we can create a whole action plan for it and and they feel that they feel the genuine gratitude and the gift and the thoughtfulness that comes with it and so just thinking about you know yeah tomorrow is father's day and and every day is a good day to be grateful every single day is a good day to express appreciation and really the whole path of bhakti is that right it's like it's it's about self it's about expressing the love that's dormant within our heart. It's about expressing that toward God and toward all of God's children. And so a little, um, yeah, a little prompt for me today. So we've got, we've got a few little action plans of appreciations. And that's what I'm going to do after our podcast today is to, because I've been feeling that gratitude and I've been, it's, it's, it's very present for me. It's like, okay, let me go like right now while I'm feeling it, while I'm connected to it, let me put pen to paper and let me write something down. Like, what am I going to do practically? Maybe I'm writing someone a letter. Maybe I'm sending somebody a gift. Maybe I'm giving someone a phone call, whatever it is, to express it. And uh, to encourage you guys to do that too. Take a few minutes where you want to express gratitude in your life, where you want to express appreciation. And to, to invoke that feeling, to go, in, go into it, give yourself a few minutes and to turn it into something that is, uh, will be felt the energy of your gratitude, the feeling that you're having in your heart will be felt in the heart of the person you express it to. I think you're muted, DG. I'm muted. All right, everybody, put your addresses in the chat box. Vera will get back to you shortly. You can put links to your Amazon registry <laughs> and uh, uh, priorities of what you would prefer. You need the, you and your address. Are you going to put your address in the, in the chat box, Vera, so we can send you something? If you guys ask for it, then I will give you my address. But I'm, I'm, not going, I'm not going to assume anything. <laughs> all right, guys. Great, grateful to be with you guys. Grateful to be with all you guys also. We love you tremendously. So glad you're here. We appreciate you. I wish I could send letters to each of you in the mail. Um, you can, Daryl. I can't. <laughs> Vera's like, you can. Why are you opting out? <laughs> love you, bro. We love you guys so much. Please stay tuned. Please join us next time. And um, as I've been mentioning, next Saturday, next Saturday, join us for a one-day retreat with Radhanath Swami, Raghunath, Yogi Charu, Janavi, Jagadid Hari. Um, I just put the link in the chat board here. Um, we'd love to have you guys. If you haven't signed up already, it'll be a full day of bhakti um, inspiration. It'll be yoga. There'll be meditation. There'll be wisdom. There'll be questions and answers. There'll be uh, Janavi will do some sound for us, some kirtan. And so... Please join us if you haven't already signed up. We'd love to have you with us. Um, otherwise, check out BuckingCenter.org slash online for other, all our other cool online offerings. And we look forward to seeing you guys every day. So we'll see you again tomorrow. Take care, Bye. guys. Happy ball.